the kidneys can correct for high blood pressure. Outside of the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, the kidneys can correct for a sudden increase in blood pressure. When there is a large increase in blood pressure, such as is seen with overhydration, the blood pushes on the atria of the heart more forcefully than normal. In response, the atria secrete atrial natriuretic peptide, ANP. ANP travels through the blood to the kidneys, where it has three primary effects that decrease blood pressure. Number 1. ANP increases the filtration rate at the glomerulus. While the kidneys do not increase or decrease the flow rate of blood through the body, ANP can increase the glomerular filtration rate, increasing the amount of blood that is filtered per minute. ANP acts to dilate the afferent arteriole, which increases blood flow into the glomerulus. Additionally, the efferent arteriole constricts, which decreases the rate of blood leaving the glomerulus. As a result, there is an increased amount of blood in the glomerulus, causing pressure in the glomerulus to increase. Since the pressure in the glomerulus is what drives filtration of the blood, this increase in blood pressure in the glomerulus results in more plasma being filtered out of the kidneys per minute. This leads to a decrease in plasma volume and a decrease in blood pressure. Number 2. ANP acts to close sodium ion channels in the medullary collecting duct, helping to ensure that after causing an increase in the amount of filtrate, this filtrate is not then reabsorbed, but rather is transported to the urinary bladder. Number 3. ANP blocks the secretion of renin. Since ANP blocks renin release, the kidneys are able to ensure that while the ANP response is turned on, the low blood pressure response stimulated by renin is turned off. When blood pressure drops, ANP levels fall, and it is possible for renin to be released again, reversing the process, allowing the kidneys to modulate on a pressure-by-pressure -pressure basis how to respond to blood pressure. ANP acts to decrease blood pressure by decreasing blood volume and also blocks the ability of the kidneys to secrete renin, which would increase blood pressure. Thus, the kidneys are able to regulate high and low blood pressure through two regulatory systems. Thanks for watching.